Hey everybody and welcome back to One Candle Society for another One Candle Paranormal Case File. Here with your host, Vic Whaley. And Marcus D. And grab your camcorders, guys, as we go in search of the Fresno Nightcrawler. The Fresno Nightcrawler is a bizarre cryptid, vaguely human-shaped, and only caught on camera a handful of times, mainly in Fresno, California. The entity seems to be predominantly legs, it's only ever been recorded by night vision cameras, and although many people have tried to recreate this footage, no one's quite got it. Let's take a look at the tapes. Okay, that's like 16 seconds of incredibly unnatural looking footage. One of the first things that I'd like to throw in the the walk there, it just look, it does not look right. Something seems extremely unnatural about it. When I look at this thing, it looks like it's actually gliding on the ground. Like it's not actually like taking steps. It's just propelling itself forward with like, like grace. It's really weird. Yeah, it really doesn't quite look like it's making contact, but when you look at the shadow, it almost connects. So if it is off the ground, it's very, very close. Uh, the Nightcrawler, likely based on this footage, would not be real tall, likely about three feet. And uh, and there's something about like the way its knees move backwards. It's almost like, like it overextends backwards a little bit when it moves. It, it kind of reminds me of kind of like Michael Jackson when he was doing his moonwalking and just how bizarre his leg movements are going, like the Fresno Nightcrawler just has that sort of like weird movement that just draws you in when you look at it. Yeah, I definitely understand why this footage has become very popular. It's just, you watch it and it doesn't seem right. Let's, let's look at the other footage though. The first thing that I want you guys to pay attention to is how these things are walking in this video compared to the first video. Because in this video, these appear to be walking much differently. Like They look like they're taking clear, defined steps. And there's a totally different walk cycle going on here. In the previous one, the appendage, in, if I can call it a knee, where the joint is, it seems to go forward and then also wobble backwards some. And I don't see that going on here. This seems very very different. whatever is in the first footage i really don't think is what's going on here in the second footage and the weirdest thing and i'm going to catch this again so that you guys can see it we're going to take a step back here i want you guys to check this out one more time right here the one in the back looks like he actually turns and looks at the camera and to me that makes me feel a little suspicious about the validity of this footage because it's almost like it intentionally stopped looked at the camera and kept going and the, the one thing I'd say in his defense would be, we really don't know what the front of the head is, and it's hard to tell perspective on this. It could have been looking the opposite way at the camera. But it does seem to stop and look for something. The one in the front didn't even look like it was phased at all in this whole situation. You think that if there was something there that it was reacting to, you'd think the first one would do it. The one that's closer to the camera would do it too. And perhaps, but if we're taking this footage seriously, well... We're trying to guess at the motivations of some unknown yeah, creature. Yeah, I know. It's just, but it's hard. We have, that's what we have to do here. We have to take these, these are the two 
most gone to footages, and and that's why this just jumps out at me so much. But what I'll definitely say is I really don't think this is the same things we were looking at in the first film. They are superficially similar, but definitely not actually the same thing. Okay, a lot of people have looked at this footage and have tried to recreate it. And in truth, I really don't feel like any of them have quite got it. Like, uh, probably the most notable one that had done it was uh, a TV show called Fact or Faked. I think it was on Sci-Fi. And they did a fairly good job and made a good effort of trying to recreate it. But it just, in the end, it didn't look quite like it. What do you think? Is it a hoax? Is this real? All of the episodes that this has ever been featured on were people trying to, to recreate it. They had to go to some extreme measures to try to fabricate this thing and the Fresno Nightcrawler while cool it just doesn't strike something that you would try to to fake I don't know if you if you put that much effort you'd think maybe you do something that would get you some more attention like a Bigfoot and beyond that these people are going to great lengths to try to replicate this and still they couldn't quite get it to me that adds some validity to it no definitely at least the at least some validity to the first one yeah to the first one yeah maybe not so much to the to the second one like, in truth, my thoughts are the first one I think is pretty credible. The second one, I'm not willing right now to go so far to say it is a hoax, but if nothing else, it's something different than the first one and I'd say much more likely to be hoaxed. So I want to pose an interesting question. Why is this thing only videotaped in parks? Okay, I had a few thoughts on those ideas. If you're trying to remain evasive and we're assuming that they're aware of humans, there's certain times where you're allowed to be in the parks and then you're not allowed to be in the parks. If you're something that's wanting to be out at night in these wilderness areas but you don't want to run into humans, parks are kind of perfect for that. There's also certain amounts of the year where they're just not accessible and most importantly, there's a minimal cameras in parks. If we're talking about just wilderness, anyone could be going through the wilderness setting up uh, trail cams and, uh, and cameras for hunting game, things like that. In a park, you're less likely to run into those sort of things. So if you're trying to remain unknown, it'd be the perfect place to do it. But I think that if you're really trying to avoid human contact, being way deep in the woods is a much smarter idea. Yeah, after you get a certain distance out in the wilderness, say over 15 miles, your likelihood of running into any humans at all, it drops down to a very unlikely number. My assumption, they need to be isolated but they can't be totally isolated perhaps they need human encounter or perhaps they're working with a human element those are my only thoughts on why a park so then what do you think it is okay first i'd like to say let's just talk about the first video because like i said earlier i think these are two different things they're just not similar enough for me well if they're trying to stay close to people but still isolated and hidden that makes me think that they're here for the purpose of observation there's not a lot of reasons why you need to stay close to something, but stay entirely hidden from it. And observation seems like the most likely thing. I mean, heck, they almost look like some sort of scouting thing with a head and legs, because when scouting, you basically need momentum and observation. I agree in that I think that the first video and the second video, you're, you're not videotaping the same thing, okay? They're moving very differently from each other. My thoughts is, something that we didn't really get into much in the video is people out in Fresno have claimed that they have seen these things. I think these are things that have been around for a while, and this is one that got caught on the security camera. I think since then, since it hasn't been really videotaped, I think maybe it learned from that experience. I think by the fact that we've never seen anything else like it, to me, that seems like learned behavior that maybe they're paying attention to what we're noticing. But we'll leave you guys to your thoughts in the comments below. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in to our most recent episode. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. And if you did enjoy it, please like, share, subscribe, all those things really help. And remember to hit that notification bell so you know whenever we post new content. Yeah, the Fresno Nightcrawler was a really cool cryptid to do. I was really happy to do it. This is one of the things in the back of my mind that I've wanted to do since the beginning of the channel. Yeah, this thing's been floating around the internet forever. Yeah, so if you guys like this, if you guys like our content, please let us know what videos you guys would like to see us do. I know we're coming up to the end of season three here in July, but we have a whole season four in a giant board ready for your guys' submissions, okay? So leave it in the comments below. 
Send us a, a, a message on Facebook. Send us something on Twitter. We check all of that, guys. But most importantly, keep believing. Because we'll keep listening. <laughs>